Welcome to PNG Trends Burner. Imagine setting out on an adventurous trek through the historical Kokoda track in Papua New Guinea, only to find out that the trail is suddenly closed and you're stranded in the middle of nowhere. Here is an urgent update for families and friends of hikers currently on the Kokoda track. Yesterday, the Kokoda track was officially closed by the Kokoda Track Authority due to a blockade set up by the Mount Kodu Landowner Association. They are demanding the government pay outstanding royalties. This sudden closure has left dozens of hikers, including many Australians and New Zealanders, stranded on the track. Now don't panic. I've got some reassuring news. The group of 14 trekkers from Kokoda Spirit, along with 31 PNG porters and guides, are all safe. They're currently at the village of Efogi and are in high spirits with plenty of food supplies. They'll be heading to the village of Kagi tomorrow, where they will prepare to fly back to Port Moresby. Here's what you need to know if you have loved ones on the track. The trekkers are all safe, and the Kokoda Spirit team is in constant contact with them. They're making alternative travel arrangements to get everyone back to Port Moresby as soon as possible. So while it's a stressful situation, everyone is being well looked after. For families and friends back in Australia and New Zealand, it's important to stay updated. Kokoda Spirit will provide updates around midday tomorrow. Make sure to keep an eye on their announcements for the latest information on your loved ones. As for the landowner's demands, the government is being urged to honor their commitment to pay the outstanding royalties so that normal trekking can resume. Here is a video the landowners released yesterday. Totally shut down. No trekkers are allowed to trespass until the government must listen to our burden. The Kodu mine has been shut down because of Kokoda Trek. We have been lost. Uh, we lost our benefits with Kodu mine, and it has taken a lot of years. <clears throat> Over 20 years now, we have missed out waiting for government to settle <clears throat> our our compo for the <clears throat> lost benefit. Today, as we all gathered in front of the <clears throat> the roadblock here, is uh, is totally closed today. No trekkers will be allowed as of today until the government respond to our grievances. The Kokoda Track Authority has reaffirmed the closure of the full track until these issues are resolved. So. What's next? The Kokoda Spirit team is focused on getting everyone off the track safely. In the coming days, they will be coordinating flights and making sure all trekkers are brought back to Port Moresby. Future trekking groups are already being contacted, and updates will be provided as more information comes in. All right, folks, let's wrap it up. Here are the key information. The Kokoda track is closed due to a blockade by landowners demanding payment from the government. All trekkers, including Australians and New Zealanders, are safe and in good spirits. Alternative travel arrangements are being made to get everyone back to Port Moresby. Stay tuned for updates from Kokoda Spirit, especially around midday tomorrow. Don't forget to hit the round button in the middle and subscribe to PNG Trends Burner for trending stories in PNG. Stay safe. Catch you in the next video. Thank you.